Hi guys and welcome to another Divi tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignertechtips.com. Well today guys we're going to be using the Divi Supreme modules and we're going to create this live Google map full width and as you can see it's got a bit of a sepia effect on it then when we hover over it it goes to the regular color and of course it's a live map so you can zoom in zoom out you can get directions etc etc and it's a great thing to have on your site now now Google's changed their policy recently and setting these up used to be really easy with some of the modules but now it requires an API key you don't need an API key for this it just embeds it instantly for you so let's get started first thing I'm going to do is enable the visual builder once loaded let's go down to where we want to go and let's just simply delete this row and we'll start from scratch I'll add a new row I'm going to make it one column and inside I'm going to put the supreme Google Maps Divi comes as standard with all the light grey modules plenty enough to build just about any site when you install the Divi Supreme Modules Pro you get another 40 or 42 of these dark blue modules here and they really do sort of put your Divi theme on steroids they are a great addition and as you can see there's more regular Divi ones down there if you've got WooCommerce installed and you're selling products you'll have an extra dozen of these to sell your products with let's roll up and find our supreme Google Maps there it is right there okay it's already put in a, a generic address for us and there it is as you can see it's popped up that's fantastic now you just need to put your address in here or any address that you want the map to show I'm just gonna I've gone to Google Maps here I'm gonna grab the White House address And we'll go back and we'll pop it in here. And there it is. Simple as that. And of course you can decide how much or how little you want it zoomed in. Simply pop that there. If you want the module to link to something or somewhere, obviously you put it in down below here. If you're linking to your own site, leave it in the same window. If you're linking to somewhere external, it might be a good idea to open it in a new tab. That way your site stays open. Okay, let's move on to the design. Now, size-wise, obviously if you don't want it to, con to be the full width of your container that it's in, our container being the row there, you can shrink it down to wherever you want and align it wherever you want but I'm happy for mine to take up 100% of the available area I'm gonna make it full width in a minute if you don't want it full width just leave it as it is so while we're there I'm gonna save this and if you want to make it full width we have to extend our row so go into the little green tab for a row, blue one for a section, and dark one for a module. We'll go into the row. I'm gonna go to design. I'm gonna go to sizing. Width. I'm gonna pull that up to 100%. I'm gonna copy the 100% and paste it down below in the max width. Or you can simply type 100% in there. That'll do the same thing. As you can see, we've now got a full width version. That's fantastic but that does look a little bit skinny for me so let's go back into our map module and we'll go to design we'll go to sizing for this one and we'll go to minimum height now here we can actually set a minimum height so it won't go any smaller or you can set a fixed height that it stays at and you can simply just drag your slider wherever you want it roll down a bit so we can see it that looks a bit better to me obviously you put yours wherever you want to put it but that's going to work for me now let's just take this down and you see minimum height I don't want it to be any smaller than that so that's six let's round that down to 600 let's just write 600 in there 
and you don't have to put the picks in, it'll add it for you. So that way that map's going to stay the same height on all devices. Okay, well that looks like a regular Google Map. You might say, well, I can do that by embedding. Yeah, but it's not quite as easy. But you can do a few more design things here that you can't with a regular Google Map embed. For instance, we can go into our filters. And my last one, I just sort of made it sort of sepia looking, like an old map. So we could go in, go down to our sepia. And common to all Divi modules, if you hover over the dark legending here, you'll see these little icons appear. If there's an arrow there, it gives you the option to set a hover state and a desktop state. Desktop is when your mouse is not on it. Hover, obviously, is when your mouse is on it. So when the mouse is not on it, let's make it look like an old map, sort of sepia type. So I'll drag that up all the way. We could probably add a bit of contrast to that too. Make sure we're still on the desktop for the contrast. Let's see if we can bring that up, make it even look even more old mappy. Even take it down a tad. That's fine. Now when we hover over it, I want it to just look like a regular map. Take this down. And I want to take our contrast back to where it was in the middle there. 100% or thereabouts. Fine tune with your little arrows there. Great, so we set our hover state. Also, if you want to enhance it further, you can you can bring up the saturation. I won't leave this, but um, you know you can bring up the colors, make them more saturated if you want to, or even take it a bit out if you prefer to have it less saturated. But that works fine for me. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now, when they hover over it, the time it takes to turn from sepia to regular, default is 300 milliseconds, which is really quick. For me, I like to slow it down a bit, but that's entirely up to you. Simply go over to the Advanced tab, go over to Transitions. Transition Duration is the time that it's going to take to switch from one to the other. I'm going to take mine up to around a second or thereabouts. I want it to happen straight away when they put their mouse over it. There's various different speed curves. I'm going to leave mine on Ease for this. Play with them. They're subtly different for different things. But Ease is going to work fine for me. Easy Now is another one of my favorite for hover effects. So I think we're good to go. So let's save. Save our page changes. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the Visual Builder. Go on down and there's our oldie map. And of course, when we hover over it, it turns into the regular Google map and hit your control key and of course it's live. As I say that's a great little feature to have on your site especially on your contact page. So there you have it, there's how to add a Google Map with the Supreme Google Map module. So easy. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.